All right, here we go. This is for those that uh, own the War Dragon, and uh, well, really, for anyone running uh, Dragon OS Focal X, probably also Dragon OS Pi 64. I didn't really catch this sooner um, because not all my devices, I think, experienced a, a problem as far as uh, connecting to the War Dragon if the War Dragon was configured as a hotspot. And what do I mean by that? I'm saying that the internal Wi-Fi in the PC that's inside the War Dragon, configuring it as a hotspot in order to allow, you know, headless operation wirelessly. So in previous videos, I talked about, hey, there's there's probably several different ways, multiple different ways that you can run the War Dragon headlessly. That could be um, plugging it Ethernet into a DHCP you know router after you have configured it um, obviously in this case I have a monitor plugged in for that initial setup that I talk about for the War Dragon taking out the HDMI dummy plug plugging in a monitor in order to do some of the configuration that I don't want to necessarily do prior to giving it out because I want to make sure that it's as secure as it could be so I'm going to leave it on the end user to determine if they want to install whatever VNC program, SSH server, uh, you know, do whatever configuration is necessary post install. So I don't do that by default. Uh, but I've, I've shown the way of uh, configuring if you wanted to statically assign an IP address to the Ethernet of port so that you n knew after that initial setup you could um, take another laptop, set up uh, you know, static IP address and connect to it, or even if you wanted to incorporate the T-Halo stuff, the, the wireless mesh, so many different ways, but I've had a few people reach out about setting up the wireless uh, that's inside as a hotspot, you know, if you're not using it for Kismet or for any other purposes, like uh, drone remote ID identification, you can use it uh, for a hotspot. But, uh, in the process of testing that out a little further, I realized that when applying uh, WPA2 or just encryption, that there was actually an issue connecting to the device. So I figured out a quick way of fixing that. sudo app install Linux. Now I have this, uh, let's see, sudo app uh, update. I have this War Dragon plugged into the internet for right now. Wi-Fi hotspot. That'll install a host APD package as well. That'll install and there will be a shortcut under, and I'll, I'll probably fix this uh, later, there, it puts a shortcut Wi-Fi hotspot. However, I've noticed that, that the way that they the developer has the um, shortcut to launch that it's not it doesn't uh, work right now but that's fine you just do Y hotspot WI hotspot and there's some default things that will populate after first installing it I'm just going to go with what's there by default just to show you how this works but you pick your SSID put in your password pick your wireless interface pick your uh, internet facing um, interface if you wanted to do internet connection sharing so I'll, I'll just plug those two in there there is some advanced settings you can um, pick the bands you can do hidden PSK uh, quite a bit of additional features I'm keeping it very basic you can see the gateway is by default 192.168.12.1 I'm just going to leave it default and I'll go ahead and create create that hotspot and that's going to save settings to this createap.conf in the uh, directory that it mentions there. The 
adapter doesn't support a full virtual interface that's fine it enables no that well with that flag there I'm gonna close this out but right now if I was to look from another device this is broadcasting a wireless network called my access point with that password if I close this window out and say we want this to be the uh, default for the next reboot of the war dragon we could just do sudo systemctl enable create AP uh, we don't need to start it right now because it's actually running upon reboot that service will become active and that hotspot will be on so keep that in mind in case you forget well don't forget that that it will be running by default and broadcasting off of the war dragon so if you don't want that you would uh, disable the service um, and you could stop the service if you had it running just so that you can go back to where you were able to use the interface for something else but let's leave that running for right now and then uh, if I go to my desktop post install I've talked about this before feel free to install whatever uh, virtual uh, not virtual but whatever VNC or remote desktops desktop service but I just suggest this rust desk because it uh, installs works pretty well has free audio I've already installed it and have it running this ID obviously uh, keep that that private that's randomly generated so that will be gone after I um, redo this war dragon but if I go under security you'll remember me talking about this before I've set a permanent password and I have enabled direct IP access so I don't have to use the um, you know kind of go out and around the internet and and come back in here I also should suggest uh, set up your own rest desk server that would be a pretty good thing to have so you're not uh, using um, you know whatever servers that are out there publicly available but this enabled direct IP access uh, comes in handy when you want to just connect directly to the IP address so you could leverage like something like zero tier or tail scale or something like that and enable that direct IP access you could just use the uh, zero tier or tail scale IP alright so that's running in the background I'm gonna just so I could demonstrate here I'm I'm actually I have a tablet here in front of me and I'm going to look for the wireless network I see it there my access point I'm connected and I have an IP address uh, in the range of the 192.168.12. something. I know that the gateway is 12.1. So let's look at this. I've installed this package just for this video, but right now I'm looking at the tablet that is wirelessly connected to the War Dragon and it's going to look funny because um, see I can't really do anything about that let's see uh, yeah it's just the way that it's recording because I'm looking at my own desktop if that makes sense but um, yeah that's probably not a good let's see what I'll do is I'll disconnect and I'll splice in another video just so you can see so so okay this was me stopping it and we can see there is the remote connection to the war dragon <laughs> 